not here either. We must keep climbing. was but a matter of time. I cannot keep up with you, nor will it avail us to make a stand here. You must go on without me. Find Elidibus and stop him. Worry not, my friend. Though I am no warrior, I have learned to hold my own over the years. When first we explored this tower, you and your fellow adventurers formed the van, while I was left to follow in your wake. Suffice it to say, I was not best pleased with the arrangement. How I wished that I could join you. And now I have, here where it all began. I was right to trust in you and the power of your legacy, of your name, to let them guide my every deed. For Elidibus is my name and my mission, guiding my every deed. But I chose not to walk them, thank the gods. Why ever would you ask me such a thing? Elidibus spoke in similar terms, you say? How curious. To answer your question, then, I made my choice for reasons which seemed obvious to me, but may not to any other. There were the expectations I placed upon myself before beginning my slumber, and the expectations of those who roused me. Of course, I had the choice to turn my back on a lot of it. But in the end, it was no choice at all. I cherish the time I spent with you and the others. What I wouldn't give to return to those halcyon days. Chasing ancient secrets, overcoming trial after trial with the aid of like-minded comrades. And what remarkable comrades they were. In such company, I felt as if I were a character in the epic tales that had stirred my heart as a boy, as if my dream had come true. It hadn't, of course, for I was no hero, neither then nor after. Though the world to which I awakened and the first were beset with myriad problems, I rarely knew how best to play my part. There was, however, one thing of which I was certain, that I could not bear to let those dear to me meet a tragic end.
I'm afraid our time is up. Go! Rest assured, you haven't seen the last of me. I wouldn't dream of playing my trump card save in your presence. future. Worthless. All. Worthless as memories of the only past. Fated to fray and fade into oblivion. Leaving naught but a gaping void. Waking Sands. Yes, that was the place. The place I first made myself known to you and yours. The Seventh Rejoining had left the realm listing dangerously towards darkness, and events were unfolding that threatened to push it over the brink. Thus did I approach you in my capacity as emissary, thinking that you would make a useful pawn. But I was wrong. And for my misstep did La Habrea and Emmet Selk pay the ultimate price, leaving me the last of the unsundered. My remaining brethren, fragmented as they are, I cannot hope to see our mission to its end. It falls to me alone. Defeat is not an option. I will strike you down. I will resurrect Lord Zodiac, and I will bring back those who sacrifice themselves to call him forth. Though it take a thousand, thousand years, Upon my honor as a Lydibus, emissary of the Convocation of Fourteen, I will see this done. What of it? I have my mission. I am Elidibus, and it is my duty to steer mankind and the very star upon their true course. This I swore to... to someone. We spoke, and I swore... What? 
What did I... <laughs> <laughs> this pain, this torment, is nothing, no more than must be suffered to deliver the world from its doom, no more than any of you malformed creatures have known. Even should you lose all that is dear to you, even should it cost you your life, you bear the burden and fight on, kicking and screaming until your last breath is spent! Aye, it's true. We've lost much and more. Known unimaginable suffering, but through it all, we never, ever forgot what was dear to us. And that's what gave us the strength to carry on. From beyond the rift, heed my call. The time is come to deliver your brethren from darkness. My heart's sole desire is a world free of sorrow. Join with me now in hope and prayer for the salvation of all. in the end, then with my all shall I oppose you. As the avatar of those mortal heroes who fought unfalteringly in all their imperfection, as the warrior of light incarnate. Come, warrior of darkness, let us finish this. making. What are you? No, it matters not. You are the enemy, and you will fall. Even should it cost me everything, I will not forsake my duty.
You have achieved nothing. I am immortal, yet I will never surrender. <sighs> Elidibus, so fixated were you on my memories of the future, you failed to heed the lessons of the past. Your obsession blinded you to the true nature of this tower, this beacon of hope for mankind. Created to serve as a reservoir for the limitless energy of the heavens. To harness and bind the boundless. Not unlike white or a sight. Your ill-begotten power. Obtained by exploiting that which is best in us. I shall have it. Your soul and all! This... Yes... I would become him. I would save everyone. This... I believed. Yet still they cried out in rage and despair. Divided over the fate of the star. A rare occurrence, always fleeting, but not this time, not this time. Reconciliation, Elizabeth. I was needed. I withdrew myself from Zodiac for them. My people, my brothers. My friends. Stay strong. Keep the faith. At duty's end, we will meet again. We will. We will. The rains have ceased, and we have been graced with another beautiful day. But you are not here to see it.
I concede I may have overexerted myself. Steady now and listen. I told you before that I had a plan and that when all is said and done, I would ask a favor of you. We have averted the eighth umbral calamity, found a way for everyone to return to the source, and last but not least, we have secured the future of all the people of Norvrand. We have won, my friend. So, I hope you'll forgive me this moment of selfishness, and while I wouldn't want you to feel obliged, Promise me you'll take me on your next adventure. A journey. Together. That's all I ask. This isn't the end. That we will meet again. Would you believe me? My friend, with you, my mind and memory shall travel to the ends of the world and beyond. But in this place shall my body stand immovable. May it serve as an undying promise, not only to those who look to me for leadership, but to any soul who has known despair, that hope is everlasting. Sark would remain, keeping his silent vigil. When the Scions were not released from his summoning spell, we proceeded with the plan to return them to the Source. 
The warrior of darkness, however, retained his ability to traverse the two worlds at will. And in time, the crystal tower became a symbol of his link to the first, and of hope. <laughs>